Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. What time is it? Four, almost five o'clock on uh, the West Coast, uh, California time. Going to talk to you guys a little bit about about the the aggregate of who you are as a person, right? Uh, it's five o'clock. I'm just having my uh, my bulletproof coffee still. Haven't eaten yet, uh, but my brain's working clearly, and this vision of what to talk about just came to me. All right, so you guys see this guy. Right, many of you have just met me. Many, many of you have just started following me. Uh, so you see a guy who, you know, who has muscles, who, who is, who is, you know, fit into his forties, who speaks with confidence and 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 animation, um, who enjoys what he does, is passionate about what he does. But for most of my life, I was a hot mess. I'm still a hot mess. Just like you. I'm a hot mess, just like you, right, T Mac? And so I grew up, you know, insecure, you know, doubting myself, you know, with setbacks, with failing, not knowing who I was, not knowing what, what I was gonna become. I knew what I wanted to become, but not knowing, right? And that and that carried on, you know, through middle school, you know, elementary, middle school, then high school, then college, then my twenties, my thirties. And I'm still a hot mess. I'm still trying to figure this thing out, just like you, right? But what I've learned and, and what I want to share with you guys is I've learned to look at it differently, all of it, all of it. Because like you, when I was younger, when I was, when I was younger like you, I, I wanted to um, allow all the good stuff, all the positives, all my accomplishments to define me, right? And and like you guys, and like many of us have been told, I would not let any of the negative stuff, or I, I didn't want to let any of the negative stuff in my life, the setbacks, the falling down, you know, the failures, the insecurities, I didn't want to let any of that define who I was, right? We're taught that, right? And that can be positive, right? That can, if, if, if you don't dwell on it, it can help you, right? If you do dwell on the, on the negative, it can hinder your development, right? And so when I when I would uh, do well on a test, I would allow that to define me, right? As somebody who was smart. When I would fail a test or I would do poorly in a subject or couldn't grasp a concept, I would not allow that to define me, right? When I would fail in a sport, Maybe not start, maybe miss more shots than I wanted to in basketball. Maybe not not tackle well or catch the ball well in football. Maybe not win or be overly athletic in a certain thing in sports or in PE. Um, I would not let, let that define me, right? When I did well, right? When I became a starter in basketball or football or whatever, when I made an all-star team, when I succeeded in a game or a season, what's up, Stacy? I would allow that to define me, right? And and so as I grew up, we all do that, right? So when I when I didn't speak well, when I when I was teased about about stuttering or speaking fast or my goofy laugh or my or my or my rough hands or my or my dry skin or the way my tooth is cracked. Or 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 not being smart, not being good looking, whatever it was, right? You got, you you have your things. You over, you know overweight, you know at a young age, you know some things you didn't grasp well in school, so you so you got labeled as being, you know, dumber than other people. Um, you you wasn't asked out for the for the dance or the prom, so you began to you began to feel ugly. Whatever it was, right? We have we have things that that happen to us along the way that we don't embrace. That we that we would rather forget about, right? Then we have things that we did well at, right? Maybe we weren't good in sports, so that part we didn't we didn't allow to define us. But we were good at music or academics, right? And so I did that. We all do that. I did that. So all the stuff that was not perfect, I told myself I would not allow that to define me, and I kept moving forward and pushing. And what I was good at. Right, namely sports, namely some things academically, I would allow to define me. 
right? And I began to put all my eggs, all my confidence eggs in that one basket or two baskets or three baskets, right? And I would, I would lean heavily on those things. And I still do, right? But I'm getting better at, at realizing what I've been doing. So I've been leaning on my physical appearance, physically, not my face, but my muscles. I've been leaning on my toughness in terms of training and sports. I've been leaning on my ability to make people laugh and be goofy. Right, got me in trouble sometimes in school, but I've, I've leaned on that. Like the things that I'm, I'm good at or, or, or that I've, I've gotten positive feedback about. Right. And everything else that was not positive in my life, I've kind of put on the side. Right. And, and either diminished it or, or tried to override it with my positives. I still do that. You guys see me. I, I might I probably mention my stutter in every video I do. Right. But I do it in a tight shirt so that you, so that it overrides that fear. Right. That detriment that that flaw that I see. What's up, Big Raymond? Right, so I still do it, right? And, and I speak animated and I, and I speak passionately because I enjoy what I'm doing, but I also do it to over, override, overwrite all the stuff that, that I have deemed as, as liabilities in my, in my balance sheet, right? That's the old CFO talking, right? But what I learned is that all of it defines me, right? I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been choosing to, to let all the positive stuff define me and try to either hide or numb or, or, or mask all the negative stuff when in fact all of it defines me, all of it, right? And, and you can't take out one piece and me be the same Bobby. You can't. You can't remove the stutter. Right and keep the rest. You can't remove the chip tooth and keep the rest. You can't remove the fact that I felt um, unattractive for a good portion of my childhood and keep the rest. You can't remove the fact that I wasn't a, a superstar in sports ever really, but early on in my life for sure. You can't remove that and keep the rest. You can't remove the fact that I didn't I didn't get straight A's or make make or make you know dean's list early on in my in my academics. You can't keep that and remove the rest. You can't do it. It's all one. It's all together. It's all it's all one package, right? And and what I've learned is that's why I'm me. That's why I'm special. Because of that, not not in spite of it, but because of it. Right? I didn't make it to where I was at UC Davis playing football, in spite of me not being good early on in my career, I made it to UC Davis as a starting cornerback because I wasn't good early in my career. Right? I didn't get an MBA from Santa Clara Private University and go on to be a CFO for two startups in spite of the fact that I didn't do well academically or not super well. I didn't do poorly, but I didn't do well. I didn't make it that far in spite of all that. I made it because of all that. Right? I'm not a great husband and a great father in spite of the fact that I grew up insecure, right? And fearful and with my own and with my own subconscious or 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 even conscious uh insecurities, I'm a great husband and father because I had that stuff. Right? Because I felt bad about certain things. Right? Not not in spite of it because of it. And so now I do my best. I'm not perfect. I do my best to embrace all of it, right? And I picture it like, you know, God has created all of us and we are, we are a 10,000 piece puzzle, right? Go to the store and you see these puzzles, you know, 500 pieces. That looks crazy, right? Thousand pieces. That looks even crazier. Imagine a 10,000 piece puzzle, right? That's what all of us are, a 10,000 piece puzzle that God has put together, Right. And every part of our journey is a piece of the puzzle. Every part of it. Right. That guy that, that, that turned you down for that dance. That's a part of it. That time you struck out in the, in the bottom of the ninth inning and people laughed at you. That's a puzzle piece. Right. That time that you that you went bankrupt or 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 or, or lost your job. Those are all puzzle pieces. 
That time you and your, 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 your husband or you and your wife broke up or your boyfriend or girlfriend you, you guys broke up, that's part of the puzzle. That time you yelled at somebody for no reason, part of the puzzle. All of it's part of the puzzle. All of it. Like the fact that you couldn't speak well, was afraid to talk in public, that's part of the puzzle. Why you couldn't grasp English very well growing up, that's part of the puzzle. You couldn't do math growing up, part of the puzzle. Right, you're overweight growing up, so you develop this insecurity about about how you look. Part of the puzzle. All of it's part of the puzzle that makes you, that makes me special. Right? And 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 the problem is we don't know that. That's the problem. We don't see every part of our journey. Right? All the all the mishaps. Look, I you know, I left finance five years ago to 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 pursue my passion. At the time, I thought it was all about fitness. Now I know it's not. Now I know it's more about motivating and inspiring people through my story than about fitness. That's part of it, obviously. I know fitness. I know health. I know how to, how to change your body composition. But I also know how to be great at whatever you do. And so I left comfort to pursue that. And it's been bumpy. The road has been bumpy. Ask my wife. Ask my kids. Ask my boot campers. The road has been bumpy. What's up, David? Right? Right? And so I know now that all of it was worth it. All of it was important. Right? The times when, when I wasn't sure we could, we could pay the bills. The times when I wasn't sure I made a good decision. The times when I felt bad about not giving my kids what the other kids were getting. The times, like now, when I, when I felt bad about not giving my wife a vacation that she needs and deserves. Right. So so I know better now that all of that has brought me to here. But when you're in the moment, when you're going through going through the challenges, the ups and downs, you don't really you don't really believe that or know that. Right. So so from way back, you know, five, six, seven, eight insecurities, you know, whatever you have, whatever you have, not good in school, overweight. That's part of it. That's part of the puzzle that makes you you. Right. And what happens is we don't see it. We don't, we don't see it. We don't understand it. We don't believe it, right? But God has created a puzzle, a 10,000 piece puzzle that every piece is integral. When you pull one piece out, you have no idea what the hell is this. This is a brown something or a green something. I have no idea what this is. You don't need to know what it is. You didn't make the puzzle, right? Just know it's part of the, part of the puzzle. That piece that you can't tell what it is or how it fits and the whole equation or the whole the whole picture of your life, you don't need to know what it is right now. Just know that it's part of the puzzle. It's part of the puzzle that makes you great, that makes me great. So yes, I used to look back and say, oh man, I wish I spoke better. I wish I was more attractive or taller. Right now, and now, you know, it, whether you believe it or not, now it's like I found the dumbest stuff to worry about. I wish I was even more fit because now those guys on Instagram that I'm comparing myself to that are like, oh, my God. Right. I wish I spoke even better. Right. And so even I have problems with it, but I'm realizing more and more that everything about me, the good and the bad, the weird and the, and the perfect or not perfect, the weird and the normal, all of it makes me me. Right. All of it makes me me. And it's a 10,000 piece puzzle that is one of one. There's only one of them. There's only one 10,000 piece puzzle that is Coach Bobby. There's only one 10,000 piece puzzle that is Amari, my son. That is Jackie, my daughter. That is Maria, my wife. That is David. That is, that, that is Raymond. That is Teresa. That is whoever's watching this. It's one 10,000 piece puzzle. That's you. Right? And you need to know what I'm learning is that that's one of one. When God made that, he stepped it one of one and sent it on a conveyor belt. That's it. And all of it is necessary. Even when you don't know it's necessary, all of it, the stumbles, the setbacks, the falling down, right? Obviously, the good stuff is part of it, but you got to remember the bad stuff, the bad stuff is part of it too. It's part of it too. The bankruptcy, the divorce, the failed tests, the failed business, the weight gain, the insecurities, all that stuff is all part of it. And you can't have who you are without the whole puzzle.
Yeah, that brown piece looks ugly now, but it's part of a beautiful puzzle. That unless you finish it out, you won't never know. So what I'm asking you guys to do is what I've been trying to do. Is, is not judge the setback in the moment. It's hard. The car breaks down. You can't pay to get it fixed, which happened to me. Two cars. Don't judge the setback in the moment. Right? Not sure how you're going to pay your rent for your new business, which happened to me. Don't judge the setback in the moment. Right? You got an injury. Not sure you can work out. Not sure what it is. Happened to me. Don't judge the setback in the moment. Because it all has a purpose. All of it does. I promise. Right? And rather than judge it now, just continue piecing together this puzzle that makes you unique. It's only one of you. It's only one of you. And God's putting you on this, on, on this plan, on this path with all these puzzle pieces for a reason. You don't need to worry about that person's puzzle. That's his puzzle. Or her puzzle. Right? Oh, her puzzle is better. It ain't better than yours. It's just different than yours. Right? And 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 all the pieces of their puzzle, you don't always see them. Number one. Number two is, is whatever their puzzle comes out to be, it won't be any more beautiful than your puzzle. You might see it earlier. You might see how it looks earlier. But when it's said and done, it won't be any more perfect than yours. The difference is they've learned, at least, you know, outwardly to accept where they are in this puzzle building process or this puzzle revealing process. We ain't built shit. We revealing it. It's already been built. Right. So I want you guys to look at that. Right. When you when you have a setback and you have one right now, potentially. Right. You don't have to understand what it's meant to teach you, what it's meant to be in this in this large puzzle, what part of the puzzle it's meant to be. Just keep going. Just keep pushing and understanding that whatever it is, at the end of the day, it's a part of the puzzle. Right. I used to stutter growing up, but had I not stuttered, I wouldn't have pushed so hard in all my other stuff in my life. So it's part of, the, of my puzzle. Right, me, me going through uh, a regular job and then doing finance for 10 years and then having kids and then starting this business is part of my puzzle. Because had I not done that, I wouldn't be able to relate to people the same way I can now. Right, going through the failures I went through in the beginning of my business was necessary to get to the point I am today where I understand what it means to accept setbacks, to to be faithful to the process, to have belief in myself and, and that God's gonna find a way. I mean had I had I had I came out the gates and been successful, it would be all about me and my ego. So when you're in that moment in that setback, guys, what's up Manzel? Realize that it's part of a puzzle. That when when it's all said and done will be a beautiful 10,000 piece puzzle that's only for you. That is only you, right? And if you look back, you already, you've already had pieces that you wanted to throw away throughout your life of this puzzle that you thought weren't part of your life or your puzzle and realize now that yes, that breakup was important for me. That failed test was important for me. That, that, that car breaking down was important to me. All of it was important. All of it, right? And so that's your challenge, guys. When you're in a setback, right? Don't judge the setback in the moment. Step back, realize that it's one piece of a puzzle, right? You're not sure what this piece is, hey, Christine, of the puzzle, but know that it's part of a huge vision of what God has for your life. And you don't need to know what that piece is. Is that a dirt? Is that a... Is that a is that a tree? Is that, you don't need to know what it is. I didn't need to know why, why I felt insecure about speaking. Right? I didn't need to know that. I didn't need to know why my cars broke down. I didn't need to know why I failed early, early in the business. I didn't need to know why I was scared to do certain things, why I felt insecure. I didn't need to know that. All I needed to know 
was that it was part of why God put me here. It was part of what he needed to do to get me ready for this. Right? And, I, and, and, and if this is what I get from it, if this is the puzzle, helping you guys be better every day, then I'll, I'll gladly accept more of that. But in the moment, you don't do that. In the moment, you don't think that. In the moment, you don't believe that. Right? And so going forward, I want you guys to really be cognizant of that and mindful that whatever you go through is there for a reason. Whatever you feel is there for a reason. Whatever you have that's not perfect in your in your in your in your look or your character or your qua or whatever is there for a reason. And that you are part, that you that that that, that this thing that you're going through is part of a puzzle that will define who you are, all of it. And so as 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 I was a kid, I would define myself just by the positives. Now I understand that I define myself by all of it. By all of it. Right? Am I an athlete? Yes. Am I an academic? Yes. Am I a nerd? Yes. Do I speak fast sometimes? Yes. Right? Am I mean sometimes? Yes. Am I am I kind sometimes? Yes. Do I cry sometimes? Yes. Do I yell sometimes? Yes. It's all me. It's all me. Right? Can I be a good father? Yes. Can I be a bad father? Yes. All of it. It all defines who I am, right? And it, it's what makes me who I am. It's what makes me great. It's what makes me one of one, right? I was to my class kind of facetiously, but there's nobody like me. I was telling you, you won't meet a, you might leave my gym, but you won't meet a, another another coach like me. I promise you. I would say, you know what they they don't yell at twenty four hour. You know what they don't do this at. Ghost Gym, right? But you also won't find Coach Bobby at Ghost Gym or 24 Hour, right? Because I'm one of one, like you're one of one. And I accept all of it. Do I improve? Yes. Do I want to get better? Yes. BTY, all day, every day. But I accept all of it. It all defines me. It all defines me. And I wouldn't change any of it. I wouldn't change any of it. All right? So that's your assignment, guys, this week is, is begin to look at things differently. Right? When you're in the moment, right, don't judge the setback in the moment. And realize it's, it's, it's only one piece, right, whether it's good or bad, whether you can tell what it is or not, whether it's pretty as a piece or not, it's only one piece in a 10,000 or more piece puzzle that defines who you are as one of one. Again, God stamped it one time, one of one, and puts it down a conveyor belt. That's it. One Manziel, one Christine, one Brent, one David. That's it. One. One Coach Bobby. That's it. Right? So appreciate who you are, appreciate what you've gone through to become who you are, and begin to accept yourself and define yourself by all of it. Not some of it, all of it. All right, guys, love you. Gotta go take my kids to practice. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Love you guys. As always, man, we try to get better every single day, y'all. Every day. Every day. BTY. Love you guys. Bye.